Hello and welcome, this is SC Rank, and today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6. Let's go ahead and hop in. I think today I'm going to try to focus on doing some arena missions just to clear them out. Um, we got the D rank missions and they are looking good. And uh, let's go ahead and see what's possible. Okay. So, number one, G3 Wu Huawei. I'm going to guess on the name there. Um, Lee Long is AC's name. Gun 3, the Red Guns, the Bailey Group's AC squad. A born con artist in a scheme was too underhanded for Wu during his days as a criminal mastermind. And the exploitation of others was a byword for opportunity. However, his illicit feng shui pharmacy operation was a fatal overstep, imperiling the health of Balaam's economic sphere and leading to widespread disease. It was Niall, now the deputy commander of the Red Guns, who ultimately shut Wu down. Okay, let's see what this one's like. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 22, hmm. entering rank That's D. Difficult. Subject AC, Li Long. Call sign, Gun 3, Wu Hua Hai. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. Hmm, I don't know about this one. It seemed kind of decent, but it could just be I've seen it. She's on with the tank or something. <laughs> oh, where did he go? Oh, you know what? I don't want to shoot so slowly because I've got nothing but packs of weapons on. So if we fail, we'll uh, modify the AP a little bit into something more combat ready for this guy. I'm thinking that I'd like to have really nimble things. Yeah. It's a tough one to hit with uh, the see slow impact weapons. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna lose with this one. But that's okay. I knew it was coming with uh, just the DPS I had going. Didn't feel like it was gonna be sustainable. So let's see about loading up something else um hmm let's see can i get to the ac data doesn't look like i can so i'm just gonna have to reinvent it here i suppose that's okay so let's try setting up a pulse gun take rid of that or take care of that pesky little shield that he's got and how about, well, we kind of, I think we need something else about well, this dude's little machine gun to have something. And I'm tempted to do the pile bunker. We'll just rush them. And let's see what else. Okay, nothing to upgrade there. And let's see. I think it. Maybe instead of that, I'd rather have a missile system. Okay. And we're going to swap out for something considerably more nimble. We'll go with that and see how that does. So what gets us the most stressed? There we go. Okay. And what else? We need improvements here for our... Let's see, firearm specialization goes up, weight goes there, the load decreases. Let's just try it. And I want to change FCS to close range. Ooh, even better. There we go. And for generator, um, let's see. Huh. I guess this one. Okay. This guy should be a lot better at close combat. 
I didn't change the core though, so I might have to do that too to get some extra armor. We'll uh, see if we can run up on this guy. Oh, he has a pulse buckler, it looks like. opportunity to nail him with the power driver. Yeah, he doesn't like this close quarter, does he? Let's see. It's amazing how much damage just the machine gun is on him. Oh, just missing it. Still seeing somewhat toe to toe with me, so I just gotta be careful. Not over until it's over. Oh, staggered me again. Dang it, why didn't he start doing so well? There we go. But it's not gonna look like it's gonna be enough to finish this off. If I hadn't have had that one miss of the power battery, I think I would have had it. That's just a bad time. Ah! Okay, we'll try one more time. I think that I can do it. But I do wanna see if I can swap out my core, because I think I'm missing a few points on my uh, armor. So let's see. Yeah, quite a bit. So that should be just about enough. Let's see what else we can do, though. There we go. Looks like the Melander is already the highest defense. Okay. All right. Now I think that those modifications should be enough. And as long as I don't miss the pile driver, I think it's a done deal. Sucks that he doesn't just fall down quickly. Looks like he's changed tactic into uh, staying in the air with me when we're going to build and trigger that. Ah, that miss just by an inch. <laughs> There we go. Kablooey. Watch out! <laughs> I'm surprised they let me do that. Wow, that was a good upgrade in difficulty over well the previous one. They're really gonna make me earn those chips, aren't they? Okay. Let's see about the second one. Before I do that, let's see, we've got three chips. Can that give us anything good? Good to get my repair kits boosted, but I think I'll leave it alone. I might just keep working on that particular point dump. Okay. Oh, I meant to go back to the arena. Here we go. Ring Freddy. Candle Ring. Warrior of the Rubicon Liberation Front. Paramore and personal attendant to Domain. 
Freddy maintains an aloof distance from his fellow comrades. Admirer of the inner world of Domain's mind, he entered the battlefield so that the father of the Liberation Front would never need to be alone. Hmm. I don't know the lore, but it sounds interesting. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 21. Well, looks like some big Red launchers. D. And on tank treads, those are the Subject ones AC. that I've unlocked but not bought yet. Call sign, I don't know about this guy. Candle ring is a very interesting idea. Main system. Activating okay, I'm guessing getting close to this guy is going to be a big improvement. I wonder if instead of missile launchers, I need to get some sort of close quarters uh, weaponry to help me. The launcher helps with that. Ooh, he is a sneaky one. Ooh, I see. Oh. Made myself run into this. Now he's got ahead of me. I'm gonna see if I can just cheese them from up there, but it's like I can't. <laughs> really need them out in the open a little bit. Oh wow, that had explosive results. Looked like he got stuck, so I went in for the strike and he ended up getting the better of me, I think, from that exchange. Jeez, those tank drives are fast. It's the first time I think I've actually seen them. Ooh! And he's got a pulse shield. Look at that. Oh, still nearly managed to beat him on the first try, though. So I don't feel horrible about that. Um, what weapons? What weapons? Okay, let's check out boost and missiles. Hmm. Why not? We need to take advantage of these uh anyways i need to get a few good builds going who knows maybe if i beat arena um from under an hour like got 15 minutes left maybe i'll do a few builds and save them i think i'd like to have like three of them like really fast mobile one or slower one it's like a heavy hitter that kind of deal Ooh -wee. all right now let's see Alright, we're getting through that shield. Oh. Alright. It does very bursty damage, so like not get me and then all of a sudden do a whole lot. Let me figure out what's in this pattern and send me off. There's definitely something. Here we go. We're doing better than last time already, I think. There we go. Nice. Only two tries this time. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, Candle Ring, you have been verified. A minute and four seconds. Alright, let's go ahead and get our next upgrade on this, and maybe that'll help us clear out the rest of the arena. Alright, Hawkins, reconfig. The squad leader of the Vespers, our best groups, augmented human squad. Like Swinburne, Hawkins is a member of Generation 7 and has lost a great many colleagues and subordinates to the progress of science and revolutionizing the surgery. However, he has reached a certain peace with their sacrifices, knowing that his generation of surgery is far safer than those of the past. 
Grief the loss of humanity inflicted on the coral technology generations or the grisly accidents of the entire generations. Okay. Let's see if we can grind them to a pulp. It's the Armored Core Way. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Number 20. Rank D. Subject AC. Reconfig. Call sign B5 Hawkins. Hmm. Commencing evaluation. That's an interesting guitar pick looking emblem. Main system. Activating combat mode. No, oh, he's way out there. What you doing out there, buddy? Hmm. I'm already suspicious of him. Well, he's got like a pulse rifle or something. Or a laser rifle. I forget what those are called. Can't let that hit me ever. Bad, bad things gonna happen. I think I might be too fast for him. Let's we'll see. Oh, that's why. He's gonna activate the full shield too. Guessing that's gonna be a theme with a few of the enemies in the soul. Oh, man, he's got some crazy attack. What was that? I don't even know what weapon that was. Too, buddy. There we go. We're gonna get him on first round. There we go. Sweet. Target destroyed. Evaluation. Well done. This build is working out pretty well. That's an interesting emblem. All right, let's see. Tempted to see if there's anything to buy. Let's uh, go ahead and do that before we do another match. In this case, there's a really cool, really cool piece of kit to obtain. Uh, let's see. We could get a nice generator. We could get a couple more uh, fire controls. Nice. That one sounds pretty good, actually. Um, different kinds of boosters. We could try out the new tank treads but they're super cheesy I want to do it and yeah, can I afford anything else looks like by and large no I kind of well I can afford the sweet 16 so let's do it too and um, let me just go ahead and throw the sweet 16 on for fun see how it plays don't know if we'll like it actually did I get it on the left I did Okay. Okay. We'll just uh, try that out and see how it goes. Alright. G5 Iguazu, Headbringer. Gun 5 of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group's AC Squad, Backstreet Gambler, Iguazu, met big and lost, and he was forced to undergo experimental fourth generation augmentation surgery to pay back his debtors. In his new life, he quickly began to quarrel with Volta, his oftentimes partner in crime. Guazu's recalcitrant nature was such that one day he even picked a fight with a hero Jupiter who retaliated with such fury that Guazu never quite looked the same afterward. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 19, rank D. Subject AC, Headbringer. Call sign, Gun 5, Iguazu. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating Gun 5. Alright, I'm going to try 
close up to him again. See how good he's at close range. See, I almost think he's shielding on me. Can't tell for sure, but I'm seeing like something shimmering on him. Stun off, so that's nice. I'm gonna save up that shotgun for a stun, but it's like it's gonna be needed to get the stun in the first place, so I don't know about that. But I don't know, looks like I might go again. Let's see. Oh, getting hung up on stuff. Oh, he does have a shield. I knew it. He is sliding around in like crazy fast. There we go. If I wasn't using the shotgun properly, it looks like maybe you have to hold in the trigger for it to fire. Alright, good. I've got more chips. No cutscene, maybe? Oh, no. Okay, let's go in here and see what we got. Oh, but it's gonna take eight, so that means we have to do the last one. Okay. Roko Monson. Shinobi, wandering independent mercenary who shelters with the Rubicon Liberation Front. Well versed in long range classical theater, he has a particular interest in ninjas and kabuki, relics of the past he learned of from the Japanese immigrant culture, shall heavily influences his ex eccentric style. Once, when Rokumonsen was on the brink of starvation, he was rescued by Z, who offered him food and shelter. And it, ever since that day, he's been sworn enemy of those who would do her and her comrades harm. Let's try to remember. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay. Here we go. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 18, hmm. rank D, final evaluation. Another set of guns. Subject AC. Shinobi, call sign, Roku Monsen. So they're gonna be switching out weaponry. That's gonna be fun. Main system, it's like a mid mode. and short range build, perhaps. Might be hard to contend with. We're gonna see. Oh, there's our full shield. Which will break through quickly, you know? I'm not even that use St. Treads, you these suckers. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh! That was a surprise hit. This is not. Sit on me, also, it's kind of in and out of energy, I guess. Ah, that was so close. Darn, almost had him on the first try. So, do you think having the pulse shield was a good idea? Because, uh, or the uh, pulse gun was good because he was definitely shielding on me there. Okay. Very aggressive in your face kind of fighter. What? 
That was weird. It's kind of frozen. Man, geez, let's mess it up. I guess he's using different weapons than last time there. He was using the weapon bay. That was throwing off my pattern a little bit there. Now he's using shotgun. Wow, he made mince me to me this time. Jeez. Maybe I will use the pink tread since I got so close the first time and don't want to have to do this a fourth time. <laughs> yeah. Let's try out our new treads. <laughs> Paint the treads. Let's see down here. And I think overall this should be a good improvement on some stuff. Huh. Not as much defense as I would think, but not as far off from that. Okay. And I do think I need to make maybe one more adjustment. The shotgun is interesting, but I'm not sure it's particularly useful um, in this case, at least. So I think I want to try the detonating bazooka. And um, how about he's so fast, I'm afraid to switch off of anything but missiles. But surely there's something I've got here. Vertical launcher? No. No, uh, none of those seem to be a big improvement. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and try this. Main system activating combat mode. First time with the new treads, so let's see. Oh yeah, I'm already seeing the difference of this. Better everything, better maneuverability, better uh, knockout potential. Just I don't know. You can see it. Look at him mowing through. This is nuts. I can't believe how good these are. Look at them. They're just crazy. They're everywhere. Now let's see. This must be the overpowered pair because I don't think that the other team would have done that well. Whoa, that was crazy. <laughs> this concludes D rank evacuation. Well wow, done. nice. Thirty six seconds. I would not have guessed that, that was possible. Jeez. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank D. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All Might exists for all mercenaries. Okay. Let's see. Um, now we're going to get that expansion. Another one. Okay. Now we'll need 10 to get up to 15%. I wonder if I'm kind of hitting diminishing returns though, like if I should instead invest in some of these other things, but well, I did get all these, so that's pretty cool. A quick turn, yeah, let's go ahead and get it too. So circle, press plus L is quick turn, okay. Nice, okay. So how about we do, um, talked about wanting to change up my design a little bit. I think I still want to, so let's go in here and start with paint. And uh, I want to do another color set. Oh, let's do entire print. There we go. Corporate military dark light user. Well, that's pretty cool, green. Um, let's look through the corporate, so mm, I kind of like that one too. I think of something a little bit more bold might be interesting, like a crazy red. I don't know, maybe I'll go more mute since I did have the crazy green earlier. Maybe a cool looking purple that's not too dark, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what the possibilities are. That's kind of cool. This reminds me of uh, Megatron or something a little bit. I think I'm going to go with that. 
we'll uh, look at the others more closely so we don't get too deep. Sweet. Can I do all units of that? Ah, I can. So... So I can do multiple tones like across the sets without having to go into every single swatch. Um, that's cool. Man, I bet some people have done some really impressive designs with this. Like, really impressive. Okay, head, core, arms and legs, decals. I didn't realize you could set one per thing too, so that's neat. You kind of like that one. What about custom decals? What does this allow? Oh, nice. So I wonder... Yeah, wow. I bet you could do some really cool stuff. Um, that's cool. Okay. Just kind of put some trophies on here for fun. Um, won't see them much in game anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's put little trophies from our uh, wins here. About do this one and there we go. Do that one. Why not? Covered in stickers. Let's see. Now I've got something on each part of it, and we won't mess with that. And we could. Uh, Go ahead and save this guy to stickers. <laughs> All right. Now, what else can we do? Um, and the nest is a multiplayer thing, so we won't be on that today. And arena, um, we've completed, and I don't think we have any more. Or actually, um, yeah, arena we have completed. And then sorties, I'm just thinking, like, what else might we have? Um, let's maybe check it out. One of, one run of this next mission, so. Steal the survey data, centralized field. I guess that's Silent Age, Yalamar Mine, or something like that. Tech base and retrieve data, 100,000 corals, or tech the Archibus survey camp and seize corporation's observation data. Extra rewards based on the number of enemies destroyed. Got a job for you, 621. It's a request from one of the Balaam companies. Search and gun 13 Raven. This job comes from our subsidiary, Dafa. The operation will take place in the central ice fields, Yalmar Mine. We want you to stage an attack on the Archibus survey camp located there. After digging into the ice field, Archibus launched survey drones to gather data. Whatever they found is sure to contain clues as to the whereabouts of the Coral Convergence. Put simply, your job is to seize the data. We're counting on you, Gun 13. Yeah, just on me, it is interesting all the different names we have for this one character. 621, are you still hearing things? Tell me if it happens on the job. I'll make adjustments. We have 621, Raven, Gun 13. I feel like there's something else. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Survey drones, but get out. Hmm, lots of targets. Guess we'll start up here and then work our way over. Hell on wheels.
All right, observation data, coral density survey. Observation data extracted from a survey drone contains records of surface level coral density at the central ice field. No major change in values compared to readings recorded in the Baileus region, likely to be cinders from the fires of Ibis. Inert coral readings make up 80% of the total analysis underway of the remaining 20%. Uh oh. He's got a combat log too. I bet it's gonna be hard. Taking time to come down. Not insurmountable, but I definitely don't want distractions. I can avoid it. Come here, buddy. Surprised we haven't seen any uh, mini bosses come out yet. Okay, how far away is that one? Observation data installation survey. Observation data extracted from a survey drone contains record about old bases scattered across the central ice field. Most of these in installations appear to have been built by the Planetary Closure Administration after the fires of Ibis. They must have been made redundant by the subsequent completion of the closure system. That said, with a bit of elbow grease, we might be able to repurpose these old ruins. I want to go this way first, then we'll go the other way. Not sure if it's a great idea, but someone tells me it could be. Don't fall down. All right, there we go. Okay. Train survey. Observation data extracted from a survey drone contains analysis of a surface level scan of the central ice field. Sonar is picking up something strange. Whatever it is, you can't miss it. Some kind of massive cave, perhaps? How could there be a cavity underneath this vast something? Haha, <laughs> I if there's any vertical lifts out of here. Either way, I'm just going to keep flying. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're going to find uh, some ancient energy source or something, aren't we? I look at things. It's looking pretty wild, you know. Uh oh. Don't want these to hit me. Okay. Offshore survey. Observation data extracted from a survey drone contains records about an attempted video survey of the ocean near the central ice field. Our video data of the ocean region has a noticeable gap. Stranger still, this hole in our records remains regardless of how many drones we send. What's going on here? Some kind of camera interference? Who knows what's out there on this vast sheet of ice? You and the AC! Ah. What are you doing here? These guys. I guess we're like in the finals. Children, 
Oh, mercy. These guys are serious. I think I took one of them out with the helicopter. I dropped it. Sounds cool. I'll have to remember that next time. Glad I headed back. Alright, dude. Getting more time to me here. It's like a vertical launcher. It'd be nice for these guys. Get over that shield issue. Look at that. You're stunning me really easily with that. Glad I took on that one because uh, it would have been tough if both of them had survived the helicopter. It's not getting the impact with the pulse gun that I need necessarily holding me back from completing this here. There we go. Good, good. Interesting. Wow. No I'm gonna have a hard time remaining. beating this mission in a trail of that. Use up a ton of ammo. Try to hold on to some of my missiles. That is going to be tough. This guy is rough. Wish I could get rid of that guy that's on Overwatch when I'm afraid to. Looks like there's a jump elevator over here though. Oops. Come on now. Get me up there. Oh yeah. I'm going to let you do that anymore, buddy. Okay. Classes me. Alright. Can I get away? Oh, jeez. They've deployed drones. Intercept 621. Holy 
crap. Uh oh, I'm gonna fall off, aren't I? <laughs> All right. All right, nice. I was wondering if that's what I, I should do, something like that. Oh yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna survive this. It's gonna, we're gonna do the best we can. Trying to stay afloat, but oh, I'm gonna fall. No, let's try again. Don't give up till it's over. No, ah, <laughs> that's all right. Hopefully, it'll heal me as part of that. Wow, that is an intense fight. Okay, where do we start it? Oh, we gotta redo it. Okay, bummer. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go up here because I could probably avoid a lot of the effort if I just go ahead and hop up here. Yeah, see? They're already calling in the Zachary. Nice. Oh cool, you can actually take it out somewhat for uh, starting. That's cool. That's not subject guard. But they sent in an enforcement squad. Six two one. Here we go. Let's take out this guy. We don't have to worry about him anymore. I think now the order of the day is just going to be to survive. Take care everything out, one by one. Let's see, you just get the same thing. It's just hit a few times, that's what I noticed. <laughs> I guess that's one reason to be careful with the vertical lifts so you can actually slow you down. I don't know why, I'm missing this guy so much, it's weird. It's like I'm not locking on. Maybe he's got something that shields him from rocks. That'd be cool. That's something in the game. Ah, I forgot to switch out my gun to... Whoops. It's another silly mistake. Missed him again. Wow, they were completely worse this time when it gets to one. Yeah. They're looking good. Well, thanks for informing me. <laughs> This guy has something else. Oops. I don't know what happened here. Okay. Let's try uh, swapping over to a better assembly setup by. Let's put. Saw rifle on there. That'll give us something. Okay. And. I thought the bazooka may be a little bit slow for what we need to accomplish, but I don't know. Um, let's try a grenade launcher. And should we change anything here? I wonder if having a vertical launcher on one of them might be a good idea. Okay. And I'm not sure that these legs are serving me. 
kind of want to try the bipedal. So I can get a booster and dodge some of these hits that are coming at me. Okay. And let's go to something that's like medium and long. If we have something like that. Let's see what is the best long we have. Is it this one? I think it is. Okay. I guess I'm sticking with that. All right. Uh, that looks pretty good. I might need to change the core a tiny bit. Let's see. I could get this heavier one. Hmm. But I wonder if it would cut down on how nimble we are. Okay. I'm going to try it like this and see if maybe that makes a difference. I wonder if it's still going to hit me too hard and maybe I'll need to put on that heavier defense. We'll see. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I can just go ahead and use the elevator. <laughs> this is where I need the tetrapod. That would have been smart. Okay. Where are the little goblins he's going to drop on? is like fighting pretty much at my level just about so heavily armored. Or I'm just not sure how to take on the last part of this. Oh. I'm not targeting them anymore. It's weird. I feel like I probably can't target them. Oh, I know what it probably was. I um, wonder if I ejected my weapons or something. Um, and I kind of hate to do this. But this is getting hard. I may have to use uh, something a little cheesier than what I've got to get past it. We'll see. Okay. I want to not waste any effort on these guys in case... I can avoid it. Wow. That was lame. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's pretty epic. Rank 
Hmm. It's got to spy. It's way too much, man. I'm wondering if maybe I should go tetrapod so I can hover above him. And get past that shield of his. That shield's, I think, a big problem here. I might just need impact weapons again. Keep them near the walls. So I'm more likely to get a kaboom on him. Ooh, watch out. This recovery is so good, too. Oh, blasting myself here. Alright, good. Alright, so now we gotta take on the ship. This is gonna be tough. Hopefully the stuff I destroyed on it earlier actually counted. Okay, that was an intense mission. Just sitting here marveling at it for a minute. It's crazy how expensive it was. 177,000. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Mind Alpha Lex. Cool. Hey, Raven. It's me, Rusty. Your old buddy from the Vespers. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. We've already lost several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as... An opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archivist group. We could use the wall climbers' help.
one new message. I see you got a call from V4. I've been contacted as well by the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the Coral Survey. Check the briefing, 621. Raven, I, I know you've established yourself as one of the Corporation's preferred mercenaries, but I was hoping you might learn more about the people who live on Rubicon. Oops, I accidentally skipped one of uh, AI's dialogue pieces, but maybe I'll get it in another time. Um, I do want to see, was there anything new in here to buy, but I didn't see any indicator about there being any parts in the shop. Oh, the bipedal legs. Um, the mind... Let's see, I guess it's available in AC Design, actually. So let's go here, and down to legs, and there they are, the Mind Alpha. Okay. Rapido Legs, developed by all mind for model ACs. Designed as part of a research project to extend human sensory capabilities. Numerous optimizations create an AC that to pilot feels like an extension of the body. Now, let's see, how do these improve? So kinetic defense, anti-explosive, and attitude stability go down. But it looks like we get quite a bit in return. Um, so de defenses go down, but maneuverability seems to go up a fair bit. And they jump to... Okay. An improvement in weight. I don't know. I, I feel pretty good about these. I think it's relatively minor decreases on the things that it does take a hit on. Um, press the no, load limit goes down quite a bit. So that's a bad part. Okay. But it looks like we're still going to work overall. I think if I change my core, I would be overburdened probably or close to it. No? No, I could change this heavier core. Interesting. I don't know. It's so hard to beat this one. Like, just that big increase in a lot of stats. Just, I don't know. Having all that extra AP, too. Um, I don't know. That's just so nice. Um... I wonder too, Minder C3 versus this. Yeah, the BD11 Melander does a fair bit better than the C3. I don't know, I think I want to change the heavier core. You know, like why not have the benefits of all that defense? And I really feel like, I don't know, we'll just have to see if we have to boost around dodge. If we do, we'll swap out for it. And if we don't, we'll stay with this one. All right. And I only have 254 to spend. Let's see. We'll uh, round out the stream by doing some purchases and if there's something needed. So, this one for 229 looks like it only knocks us down on a few things while giving us a good amount more energy. So, that's good. Faster supply recovery, too. Alright. I think that that's a done deal. Actually, what is this 241? 2550 versus 2720. Hmm. I think this one may be the better of the two. Because it has increased energy output. Let's see, I see three, four six seven positives on that one and only five on this one but what would maybe some of these values decrease 2550 yeah i mean everything seems better on this i don't see ah uh, the supply recovery is higher on that generator that's why 
Okay, what else? I think with my play style, I'd rather have this. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and equip that as well. I think we got the generator. There we go. Ah, this one might still be it in a few areas. Let's see. Yeah, a few areas, but not enough to like, I think make it super warranted unless we really needed all that energy. Okay. I'm curious about the expansions, like when I'll start getting those. And let's say this build is hmm, somewhat close range now. So I think I'd like to change this to close. Let's see, that's a close and medium build. This is the best close. Let's see, this one's 80. Let's see, 45, 80. Yeah, I think I want to stick with that one. Okay. Anything else? I already changed over to mine alpha legs. I do need to invest in arms some more. I don't think I have money now, but we'll see. For funsies, I do think I'd like to change over one of these to a laser cannon. Do I have both of them have laser cannons unlocked? I don't think so, but I'll double check. Okay, laser cannon vertical missile, why not? And let's just keep rolling, see if there's anything else we want to do to this build. I don't think so. I need to get a left arm unit that's also some sort of like rifle or something. It's got too many like heavy explosives and I think that's throwing things off a little. Um, what else? Laser handgun? Why not? That might be kind of neat. And let's do an AC test with it. Just to see if it feels good or not before we end the stream. I'd kind of hate to end it without at least taking a look at it. Maybe we'll do a mission with it too. Yeah, this looks cool. I like it. It's very uh, angular in appearance. So let's spawn about one of these. It's fun. Feels a little bit uh, interesting. You know, I've got one high explosive, got a charge weapon, got a laser rifle, and a vertical missile launcher. It's kind of like, I don't know, grab bag of puzzling maneuvers, you know? Um, Trickster's build or something. I kind of like it. I'm actually kind of proud of this. Uh, the way this one's playing, the legs are so swift. Got decent flying capabilities. I'm gonna have to test builds more often. I think I'm just taking on the missions without thinking enough about it, you know, and not finding interesting things like this. I mean, look at how well I'm doing too. I'm like barely dodging them and it's still only taking out half my life. Okay, I think that's enough of a test. Um, let me see if maybe there's a short mission I could do. Oops. How about we go to sortie and replay? How about this one just for fun? It's a kind of racetrack one where we just got to run through and blast a bunch of them. So let's see how it goes. Main system activating combat mode. Combat submission. Wipe out the Dafang MT squad. Okay. Enemy attack! 
Okay, can't fall off now. There we go. That merc's tearing through us. Damn it. Archivist really scored this time. <laughs> Wonder if this is my fastest or my slowest. It feels like it could go out of the way. Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Hopefully I'll land on something to recharge. Okay, yeah, this probably won't be a record setting run. <laughs> okay. Let's try, try again. Six to one, wait. I'm picking up new enemy signatures. There we go. It's like reinforcements. Eliminate them. Oh wow. Surprised that everyone made it. Oh wow, that just seeps right through their shielding. That's cool. It's having fun experimenting at this point. It screams at all, man. You can like hear it, I guess, cutting through there or like plasma or something. It's so cool. this mission again. Is that no, that's just where I came from. Never mind. I thought it was in a new area, but no, that's a place I've already been. I remember now. So you actually had to open up the door to that area and stuff. But it does make you wonder what else could be in this game that I've already missed a few times. Okay, well let's go ahead and roll credits saying thanks for watching. It's been S Tier Rank. Follow me on Mastodon Twitch and YouTube as Tier Rank. I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.